This is Mayor Dwayne Warren, and we are at the City of Orange Township Public Library with its director. We're in a historic location, and we just want to get a fix on what we're doing in the library for the summer and going into the fall. Madam Director, how are you? I'm doing okay. How are you today? Welcome aboard. Um, you've been here since December? Yes, I have. And how has your service been so far? Uh, it has been extremely busy. Uh, there's Good. been a, um, a lot of opportunities to uh, make some improvements in the library, um, to reach out to the community, and we have a lot more to do um, to make sure that this community is well served by this library. Oh, great. Now, when I think of library, um, as a child growing up, it was part of one of my uh, stimulus points that my mother made sure we were library members and that we went to the library activities. What are we doing finishing out July and going into August for our children in the community? Well, um, we are focused on uh, the summer reading uh, program. Um, this year, the theme is a universe of stories. And so we're de we've developed a number of programs around that theme, including um, having a um, special story time in July, I believe it's the 23rd of July, uh, with the WWO um, organization, the Worldwide Orphans. Um, they have a corner in our library where they offer a lot of programs to the younger kids on Mondays and Wednesdays, and it's free and open to everyone. Um, we also are working with Luna Stage to offer a play entitled Luna here on July 24th. Wow. I, I, I'm going to instruct my technical people to make sure those programs, all your programs, are on the screen so that we get maximum participation. Now, collaboration is something that you spoke of, and I'm glad that we're doing that with other agencies in the community. I understand you're now bringing together the library, books and reading, uh, and mixing it with athletics. Tell me about that program. Yes, that's um, the WWO program. Um, they are having a program at the school where they're bringing in um, some athletes, some basketball, um, NBA basketball players. Nice. And after they finish the clinic at the school, those um, athletes will come to the library and do a story time with the student, the kids that are here. Oh, beautiful. That's a, that's a perfect mix. Um, I want to jump to the physical structure. This is a historic structure. It's very well known throughout the state of New Jersey. Um, tell me what we're doing to try to improve the physical structure. Uh, we are doing a number of things. Um, we are working with um, the city um, to um, prioritize the big problems in the library and identify funds to address those problems. For example, um, there is New Jersey construction bond money that's coming available pretty soon. We will participate in the application process um, and the, the city has agreed to um, provide us a match uh, if possible so that we can um, get the roof fixed. And then the New Jersey historic uh, funds, are those available as well for this building? I understand the, that the library was um, issued, um, granted funds prior, and we've not used those funds yet. And so uh, we are still working with the city to make that happen, to use those funds to get the building fixed up in other areas. I'm a big reader and a big writer, and um, I intend to uh, attend the Writer's Symposium that I understand you're having in August. Tell us about that program. Well, um, that's also part of the um, 2019 summer reading and what we're planning is uh, to have local authors, local writers, published and non-published, come into the library and talk about their books. Um, uh, they will have the opportunity to sell their books afterwards also. Um, during that week we also will have a huge book sale of some of the library materials that are being withdrawn from the collection. Will that be a sidewalk sale or will that be inside the library? It will be outside the library. Not necessarily on the sidewalk on the grass, but um, it will be outside of the library. Okay. Uh, we're expecting at least 15 or 20 authors. Uh, we've been reaching out to people in the community for the last couple of weeks and we're now starting to sign up authors to participate. Outstanding. That's a free program to the public. That is a free program to the public. As a matter of fact, all of our programs are free to the public. And just um, so people that are out there, if you're a local author, are you invited to come and share in the program? Yes, just um, come to the library and ask for me at the circulation desk and um, I will sign you up if you're a published author. Great. You want to get started? This is a great place to start at our public library. Um, so 
tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, where are you from? Where did you go to school? How did you get interested in libraries? Well, um, I am from Virginia originally. Um, so is my dad. Oh, my okay. roots. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, so I'm from Virginia originally. Um, I worked in li uh, libraries in high school um, throughout college, and then I was recruited to go to library school. So um, I went to the University of Pittsburgh uh, for my master's degree in library science. Um, I earned it in 1992, and I've been working in senior management positions for about 25 years now. So there's a library school, like a library university? There are a lot of uh, colleges and universities that offer a master's degree in library science or library and information science around the country. They're accredited programs. Okay. So I went to the University of Pittsburgh at the time. It was... You know, ranked pretty high in the country. I think it was ranked like number three in the country. Wow. So. And you have a staff here at the library of how many? Currently, we have a total of 13. Uh, that includes myself, but we are hiring. Um, and we're looking to add um, two more staff positions. Now, I'm also an old school guy. I do have my AARP card. So um, sometimes I'm still drawn to the stacks um, when in terms of the card catalog and so forth, but I understand that today technology is reigning and we don't need the uh, card catalogs anymore. Um, we still have card catalogs, but they are now online. Um, the big change that we recently introduced was to uh, start offering ebooks and audiobooks. Wow. And that's free to everyone who has a library. Now, tell me how that works. Well, you come in with your library card. We can show you how to set up your account. Uh, there's a class once a month. Um, just contact the library. You can get information about when that class happens. Um, and we can show you step by step how to get into the ebooks and audiobooks. Wow. We, we have about 30, 1,700 books that are available to us. Wow. Now, the library, um, although it's a place of learning, research, and reading, you've been kind of creative in using it also as a center for the community. What kind of programs are you doing in that area? We are doing a lot of programs related to um, financial literacy. Uh, we're doing a lot of programs that relate to um, buying homes, HUD homes and otherwise. Um, we're doing a lot of programs um, relating to um, parents' role in um, child care. Um, when it comes to policies, local government policies, national policies, that sort oh, of thing. Wow. I understand um, for those who want to be homeowners that you're having the HUD seminar on July 22nd at 6 o'clock right here in the library. Yes, we are. And we offer those on a regular basis. And I participated at, um, during the holiday season where we block off the street right in front of the library and use the steps of the library as a stage and uh, celebrate and have community celebrations. Yes. Yes. And will that kind of thing continue with the library? Yes, it will. I hope so. Okay. August is upon us. What do we have coming up? Uh, we have more programs relating to the summer reading theme of um, uh, Universal Stories. Uh, we have um, guest um, story time readers coming in, including yourself. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have an individual coming in who will be um, teaching um, kids how to create stormtroopers using paper. Um, we have um, the national, I mean, the uh, book sale and the writer's symposium kind of coming up oh, in August. Great. Now, at some point, I don't know if you still do this when you do the bilingual education. Do we still have those classes that meet here in the library? Um, Yes, we still have the ESL classes that come to the library. However, uh, that program has not um, been renewed. And so I'm looking for ways to collaborate with that group so that the library itself can have some offerings to support bilingual education. Oh, good. So there, there are opportunities for outside organizations to partner with the library to deliver services. Yes, there are. And they can use this facility? Yes, now, how does, that, how does that happen if I'm an outside organization and I have a service to offer and I want to collaborate with the library? Uh, what's the procedure? Um, simply contact the library and, and let us know that you would like to have a meeting in the library. We do have a short application that you need to fill out. Um, but if the room is available, um, we'll welcome anyone to come and participate. In. Oh, beautiful. A true community partner. Now, tell me, how is the library governed? Is there a board of directors? Are you governed by the city? Uh, how does that happen? The library is governed by a citizen board um, of trustees. 
um, and they have officers of you know, president, treasurer, secretary. Um, and actually, the numbers are appointed by, <laughs> by the mayor, by you. So. so the library board has a board of trustees. Um, I appoint the board of trustees with the mission that we uh, serve the community, that we become a great community partner. And to, uh, to get on the board uh, when there are vacancies, send me a letter that says I'm interested in serving on the library board or some subcommittee of the board where you have citizen involvement. Right. Um, and we'll get it to the appropriate people and make sure you get plugged in and involved. Now, the mayor is statutorily a member, the superintendent of schools is statutorily a member, and then there are other members who are mostly community people, and then there's room for an outside person who does not live in the community to be on the board as well. Um, the board sets the policies um, that, the operate, that, the, that the library operates under. Yes. Um, but the day-to-day -day management of the operation is you as a director, is that correct? And just give us a brief overview of some of your day-to-day -day activities um, as it a director. Is my responsibility to uh, supervise the staff, uh, to make sure we get open on time, make sure we close on time, uh, process payroll, uh, manage the budget overall, um, develop programs, do a lot of outreach, um, and just make sure that we're getting the word out to the community that the library is here to serve them. If you had an opportunity, if you had a few minutes to talk to the entire public about the library, uh, what would you want to say to them? Come to the library. Uh, we are changing, we are improving, we are growing. We have something here for everyone. So Very good. Come to the library. If people are interested, uh, they have some trepidation about the library and about costs, what message would you send out to the public? Um, there are many, many programs and many, many resources that we offer, and we offer them free to the community. And just, just let me follow up on that. Um, job, job searches can be done here. Yes. You have computer access, internet access. Free access. Um, faxing, copying can be done here. Uh, not faxing, but copying can be done here. Um, we have a notary in place. You can access your email account here. You can access your email account. You can check out a book. You can check out an ebook. You can check out an audio book. Um, you can sit here and study. You can re, um, um, check, uh, borrow a room. And you have book stacks here. You have a children's room. Yes, we have a children's room. Uh, we have a computer room uh, where we teach classes, the Watson room. Um, and so there's, there's every service that any library offers, we offer here. Uh, we welcome everyone to come to the library. Uh, if there is not a service or a book or something that um, we don't have, we can get it for you. So. Coming down, it's a library, a center for the community. We're right here on Main Street. The hours of operation are? Uh, Mondays, we're open from 9 to 8. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're open from 9 to 6. Wednesdays and Fridays, we're open from 9 to 7. So between the hours of 9 and 6 every day, um, you can have access. Our late days are the beginning of the week. We are open on Saturday for an extended period. Uh, in the fall, we are open uh, on Saturdays from 9 to 1. Okay, and Sunday we're closed. Yes, we're closed on Saturdays. Come on down to the library. Enjoy it grow. It's a family-friendly place with activities that cover children all the way up to senior citizens right here on Main Street. Um, we're happy to have you. Director, thank you uh, for spotlighting the Orange Public Library. Thank you.